I first heard about the first home club from a friend of mine who had gone through the program a few years ago. I always thought about one day I'd like to have a house and it was always kind of this far out idea and basically it made something that was always, you know, kind of an idea and made it into a real possibility. I live in the Park Ave Monroe area. You know, it's an apartment, it's a one bedroom. Um, it's great, I love it, but definitely, is, you know, life goes on, questionable. I'm in the architecture profession, so there's just something really kind of important to me about being able to kind of control the space around me. There's just something about the idea of being able to, you know, come home and make changes, to, you know, have a place that's mine. I'm just starting to start looking at houses. Um, I would like to stay in the city. I really like being nearby what's going on, and I really feel like there's just a lot happening in Rochester right now that I want to continue to be a part of and just be a step away. For the first home club, there's two things really. Um, you have to make a monthly payment, and then the other thing is this class, basically on home ownership. And they went through all of the different kind of parts about looking for and then owning a home. The um, biggest takeaway I got from that class, other than just kind of having the whole process broken down, which was really nice in its own way, was to have them tell us about all the different types of resources that are out there. Everything from credits and grants, from the actual buying portion of it to the continual ownership of a home. I decided to work with ESL in this process because I really trust them as a company. They've been incredibly helpful for me in the past and it was quick and easy and I definitely thought it would take way longer than it actually did, but it was just an incredibly painless process.